Hey everybody, happy Monday and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Tobia. I'm Chef Tobia. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Lefty Spices and this is a fish and chicken mix. This is used for pan frying, this is used for deep frying, and then this is also used for oven frying. So since I have an air fryer, we're going to be using this in the air fryer to see how our chicken is going to come out. Shout outs to Kelly's Cooking and Booger. Um, they're both air fryer channels and they have amazing recipes. I'll link them in the bottom. Please subscribe to Cooking with Tobia for new recipes on Mondays and Thursdays at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Please follow me on social media, Instagram and Facebook, especially Instagram because I have a lot coming a lot of um, events and contests coming as well as well as the schedule change So let's go ahead and begin with today's demo and thank you so much all of you for watching sharing and supporting So I'm preheating my air fryer and I have my chicken that I'm using already cut up and I have here um, a half a cup of the lefty spices the recipe package says to use a quarter cup But I prefer my batter to be a little bit thicker so I got to have a cup in there with one cup of water and I'm going to whisk the two together until it's smooth. I have a bag here that I already put some of that bread in. And I have a sheet pan here with a wire rack on top. And we're going to drip, put each piece of chicken inside the bag here. And then I'm gonna just shake everything around. Just to make sure all that chicken is coated. And then each piece I take out, I'm gonna set it here in my wire rack. And I'm gonna let this sit on the rack for about 10 minutes. Just allow everything to dry. To dry up a bit. Because I'm gonna just to fry it up nicely in the air fryer. Now I'm going to Add my chicken in there. I'm using um, half of a whole chicken plus the two wings, and I just split the breast in half. I have my air fryer here preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and then what I'm going to do is spray the bottom with a little bit of my Crisco, and it's a spray canola oil. Then I'm going to place my chicken in the bottom. I'm using a pair of tongs. And the reason why I'm using tongs is because I don't want my finger to rub off any of that batter. Okay, so this is going to go inside my air fryer for five minutes. And as Booger would say, rule of thumb, give it five minutes before we spray it. So I'm going to give it five minutes, 400 degree Fahrenheit. So it's been five minutes and I'm going to spray and then I'm going to put that back in and I'm going to let this go for, I'm going to let it go for about another 10 minutes and then we're going to flip them. I think 10 minutes. 400 degrees and I'm going to do it 10 minutes. We'll be back. 10 minutes. I'm going to give all the chicken a flip. So, so far it looks like it's frying up nicely. So I'm going to put this back in for about another eight minutes at 400 degrees. So we've been back in eight okay, minutes. Okay, so it's been another eight minutes and our chicken looks nice and beautifully. So it looks beautiful brown so far. I want to take the temp of the chicken wing. So it's at well above 165. So any meat that's in here that's at 165, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Okay. Let me flip it here. Going to the thickest part. So the chicken breast needs probably another three minutes. And I'm going to let the wing go for another three minutes because I want the opposite side to be a little bit more brown so we're gonna let them go for about another three minutes and we'll plate them up 400 degrees so here's the chicken I let it go for another three more minutes and 
let's give you guys a good shot. I'm going to actually cut into this chicken breast because I'm curious. You know, a large piece of chicken breast is usually dry. So let's see how the air fryer did. I'm gonna cut a piece off. It's moist. It's very moist on the inside. The air fryer did a good job at browning the chicken, which I'm amazed with. Oh my God, it's so good. The flavor of this is amazing. Mmm. Wow. The crunch on this is amazing. It's really delicious in the air fryer. Absolutely delicious. And um, I've tried this, left these spices here. I tried this uh, frying it. When I fried it, it didn't have much flavor. But the air fryer, it has a lot of flavor. So I can imagine that the cooking oil may wash some of those flavors away. So it's amazing the air fryer, juicy, tender, crisp when the outside, not dried out. Um, I forgot to put my hot sauce on there. <laughs> but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please add it to your playlist. Please share this as much as you can because this has helped me tremendously. And I appreciate all of you who've taken the time to watch my content because I try to not to be long-winded, but I tend to answer a lot of the questions um, throughout the video. So for those of you who take the time to really watch my videos, I really appreciate it so much. Um, if you guys have any comments or any recipe requests, please leave that below. Also, don't forget to go vote on the recipe for the holiday on the community tab on my channel. Live and be well. Let's come together and love each other.